guys, we're here with Edward Mela. Uh He's going to talk to us. For, oh, that's quite cool. Um, to talk to us about Altlon's watches. Yes. Right. So he's got two hats. He's got the Altlon's hat and the Moser hat. He's going to start with the Altlon's hat. That yes. is really cool, actually. I love that. It's so S&M. That's the one. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the watch that we can't show you. So, so what is Altlon's? Uh, uh, we don't know. I mean, we, you know, we took over Autlon six years yes. ago, and I think. Well, hang on, Suzanne. Suzanne. Yeah. Suzanne, what is Autlon's to you? Autlon's is something that's uh, it's not for everyone. It's audacious. It's uh, I like the fact that no one, not a lot of people know this. That its name, Autlon's, is an anagram of Neuchatel, which is where they were founded by some very good friends of mine. Carry on. Where, yeah. where are those friends today? So Guillaume's at Ralph Lauren, right? Yeah. Where's Renault? The Renault just left. He was with uh, Ernest Borel. And now he's doing a vertical weed farm. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, and Sandro is, I think, with uh, with HYT. Okay. Cool. But we we still have the the engineers and the and the watchmakers. And um, in the last couple of years, really, we we wanted to go back to this idea of more. Potence was mm -hmm. the rebel. Right. One exactly. of the first ones. You know. So for you, all those is rebellion. Rebellion. Okay. You know, and and innovative at the same time. So. Yeah. What I like about what we're presenting this year is there's a little bit of an innovation and there's a little bit of the rebel okay, cool. yes. aspect. Um, so Edward, do you want to see some watches? Yes. No, Let's but see I mean, show Let's us see. the balls. Yeah. Show us the, show show the big balls. Show. show us your balls, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I would ones. never have thought your balls would be black, actually. Or spinning. Yes. Huh? Or, or spin spinning. <laughs> spinning. <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> they have, <laughs> and they are, they, have, are they luminous? <laughs> they don't. Oh. They're not, but they have huge... Huge, um, uh, huge. conic uh, spherical differentials. That's not something you hear every day. No, you know, they have huge that. conic sp spherical differentials. Yeah. How, how does the twenty-one degrees axis? Wow. Okay. Please explain. Okay. No, these are the, the this is the clocks that we developed, the big clocks that we developed mm. uh, last year too. A bit as a, as a teaser. Right. Huge, it's yeah. still big ones. Yeah. And. Yeah. Um, of a teaser of what's what's coming up. But this is you. really cool, actually. It is. And the idea is, is, you know, jokes aside. It's so we hang really up. Cool. Can, can we actually buy these? You can. And uh, and so there's a synchronization, obviously, exactly. between the two of them. So this is minutes and this is hours. Yes, exactly. And there's you're... electronics inside to, to regulate. Amazing. And then there's uh, mechanics to. And yeah. how much how much does a clock like this uh, run? I think retail is around nine thousand. It's a bargain, dude. It's, a bargain. it's like five, 25 five and, and a half sausages. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yes. Exactly. The whole idea was Autons is known for retrograde right. and jumping hours. Sure. And jumping hours is something that we see more and more and we've seen for, for many years and we right. wanted to do something different to right. interpret that. And this well, year our engineers worked on the spherical jumping hour. Cool. So I guess you could say that, that your point of rebellion was yeah. the fact that you kind of created a new an yeah, expressive way time. of reading time, but True. that was yeah. primarily yeah. through jump hour indicators and, right? retrograde. and retrograde. So now you want to do something a little bit kind of, you know, well, in the same spirit. Yeah, well, innovative, but keeping this essence of the retrograde okay. plus cool. this element of, uh, of jumping hour. Very nice. And jumping hour with a disc is something that we've seen a lot at Dortmund as well. We right. used the chain, and now it's time to use the sphere. Let's do it. And that's how we came up with the HL sphere. Yes. Again, innovative, but auto yeah. I think that's very important to us to go really back to those kind of very nice finishing, anglage, the blue, um, the blue sphere. And you guys broke this on the social media like a week ago or something? A couple of days ago. Yeah, but this is the first time we see it close up, and let me tell you, it's spectacular in person. I think Autonance needs uh, a need to, you know, to show that it's, it's back there. There's new energy, there's a lot of innovation, and that's why we wanted to be a little bit ahead to attract people to say, hey, let's go and check it out. I think yeah. it's one of the coolest from the independent brands uh, watches this year. I haven't seen what everybody else is coming up, but uh, with, but I think it's a it's a very cool concept. Can you show us how the uh, yeah actually? It's definitely a well, it's simple. I mean, we, we well, it's not simple, but the way we develop the idea of Autos is now that we have this movement. If you look at it, it's the TV screen. I mean, uh -huh. I fell yeah. in love with Autos because of that Absolutely. chain. And we what we did is based on the Mosel movement, we created a, a basic movement for Autos, which is in two parts. On one side, we have the, the movement bass, okay. which is the automatic uh, here modified for to have a retro rate. Okay. On the right side, we have this possibility to, to, to have different uh, affichage, jumping sure. hours, etc. So we have in the pipeline a few yeah. of those. Is it functional? It is functional. Can you turn it for us? So right now, it's, you can see it's 5.50. Right. Mm -hmm. And you will see the time going to 60. See the, the hand yep. going to 60, and then it's going to jump back. And at the same time, we will see the sphere doing 450 degrees. 
and not That's a pretty cool life. Life. That is spectacular. And it would be awesome if you were rich and you were at Burning Man and you were on a whole bunch of mushrooms. You could just play with this like for days on end. Yeah. Well, just, you know, just on mushrooms in general. Yeah. You don't have to be, uh, go all the way to the Burning Man. True. Exactly. Yeah, that's mushrooms the Burning Man is like a state of mind, right? Exactly. You take the You can make the man you. burn anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I know you guys have been like you know trying and experimenting and you know working with different price points for the years. What what do we see this coming in at? So this is twenty eight pieces mm -hmm. at ninety nine. Do you want me to okay. you want to show it to you summit or do you wanna do you wanna do it later? Later? Okay, cool. I'll try it. I think it's really it's really cool. I mean it's for a truly innovative like there's a choreography with the sphere yeah. that does this four hundred and fifty degrees that you lose a little bit like the exactly. track. That actually is genuinely cool. It's I very really like that. Cinematic, it's very impactful. So can you can you turn it, show me? Go for I love it. that. Because the, I, I find that the cinematic quality is actually emphasized by the shape of the case, which as Edward explained yeah, is, it, is kind of that TV <laughs> that cool, TV screen man. shape. <laughs> In a few years, boys and girls, you're not going to awesome. know what TVs are. Love it. And beautiful, of course, movement. You can wow. also appreciate the, the sphere at the back with the escapement. Um, you see the uh, turning in the right direction. I hope so. Wow. And then, uh, what does a watch like this cost? Ninety-nine thousand. It's a bar. twenty-eight pieces limited. How white many, gold. How many sausages? Is that? Like seven. Yeah. Right, seven. <laughs> Huh. If, you, if you want the bread, six, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then as part of the co collection, um, last year we launched the, uh, the Vagabond, okay. which is flying hours at Moser Vagabond. Oh, yes. At, at, okay. uh, and here we launched it the first time with a uh, tour. When you launched the, the name Vagabond, was Jorn a bit irritated because he's got Vagabondage? Uh, didn't talk to us yeah. about that. I think I don't think. But he's usually quite ir he's I usually quite irritated anyway. It doesn't matter. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's an angry man. State. I don't think Lutons is an angry man. And I mean, visually different. they're quite distinct. Anyway, you wouldn't mix them up. Let's no. say. But you need to be careful with names. We wanted to call this one the kinetic, but then you know, obviously, we yeah. felt yeah. And, and to you, use you, you, you want to call these the big balls, but. Uh, what if they're not called the big balls? Of fire. They're they're called the big balls of fire. That's great. And they are. Can, no, can, no, we, okay. can we ignite them? <laughs> Flaming balls, guys. <laughs> so here we have the Vagabond, right. the village, uh, by Haute Lance. So it's right. the principle of the satellites, you know, what people brought back in the 70s, which actually is a complication that's 200 yeah, years old. Right. Uh, Overac as well. And then uh, the idea here is we have three satellites indicating the, the hours. Mm -hmm. So it's 12 at the moment, 12.30 pretty much. Right. You see the minutes are, are rotating and the satellites are, are fixed. Okay. At 12.60 it's 1.00, yeah. so you see the one. And it's basically the hour is jumping from one satellite yeah. to the other. And then we go forward. That's cool. Two and three will appear, etc. etc. Here in a 10 pieces uh, limited edition automatic tourbillon. Uh, 79,000 Swiss francs. Wait, there's a tourbillon on there as well? Yeah, there's a tourbillon Dude, just at, a, at 6 o'clock. Yeah, that's just, that's new. Just, that just, just new. for the hell of it, there's a tourbillon. Yeah. Nice, I like that. I don't know, like, is this sacrilegious to say, but I actually prefer the Orlans execution of it to the Moser? It's a second launch. It, oh. oh, it's okay now, but in five minutes you have to change your mind. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Until, until, until you see the, the latest version. Exactly. This is, this is very cool, this is very three-dimensional. We didn't create a dial, we have actually the, um, we use the, the main plate right. as a basis and then we have this three-dimensional element on top. Mm -hmm. And there's two versions of it and there's... Um, it's, the, the, it's the playfulness of it that exactly. to me says more than this. That's not it. But you know, this is this is a complication that was developed by the engineers of, of Outlands and at that time the Outlands guys didn't want it. And then I said, well, you know, it's pretty cool. At Moser I like to... to we like to, to try to, um, to reinterpret complications how it is our own way. And we did the flying hours, and then Otis was like, oh, it's pretty cool, we could do something with it. And it so you made it better, and then they wanted it back. Yeah, but I think it, it makes <laughs> sense. Yeah. No, absolutely, and that's why it's a team effort. It's a team effort. Good team. Now we work more and more so together. Like the way we all work together, mm -hmm. it's all about the team. Yep. We're very integrated now. Yeah. Uh, we have a team in, in Neuchâtel and uh, in Chautron that really creates the, makes the development and the production. Right. But all the rest is integrated into the music. Cool. It's like, uh, yeah. It's group synergies. Are, we're a very small group, but I think it, it works well. Exactly. So this is um, the HL Vagabond 02 and HL Vagabond 01. Nice.